Hi ladies, it's Angie. I just wanted to share a thought with you today um, from women of the Bible. I don't have a particular scripture setting, but I did read Proverbs 31 verses 10 through 31, and it does kind of focus on women and character um, that they might have. So verse 10 in the King James Version says, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. And going down to verse 29 in the Amplified, it reads, Many daughters have done nobly and well with the strength of the character that is steadfast in goodness, but you excel them all. I wanted to talk about uh, the women in the Bible who are named and maybe not named. Um, we were reading a plan a few weeks ago called Ready to Rise, and I, one of my responses was, I believe it was around day four, just the reading in the passage just really touched me and it, it really made my spirit think about women can be used in the kingdom and we are um, significant to him and, and we see throughout the Bible that women are used. So these are ladies that in the Bible that I can identify with and relate to from a personal perspective and maybe you can as well. Um, I picture myself, as I said in an earlier devotion, to be more like Mary to sit at Jesus' feet, to learn from him, to love on him, and entertain his presence in this busy Martha world that we live in. I'm just like the woman at the well. I didn't know he was the best thing that could happen to me until I tasted of the promised water to never thirst again. I can see myself in Ruth. I needed a kinsman redeemer, and Jesus became my Boaz. I can identify with Esther. There's an enemy that would be out to destroy our families, our friends, the people that we love and we, we call dear. These are our close people. And maybe I'm meant to stand in the gap for those people for such a time as this. In that, I believe that we can petition the throne for their salvation and request of the king that our enemy be silenced and destroyed. I've been like the woman with the issue of blood. When my body needs a touch that only he can provide, I can cry out to him. He will answer. I understand the woman of Cana when she pressed for her need and she spoke to Jesus and she replied at a point that said, even the dogs get the scraps of the master's table. Do I have that kind of faith if he only offers me scraps? But I know that he has the best laid plans for me because his word tells me so. And we can go and look at Jeremiah 29, 11 to back that up. Um, it doesn't matter what he has for me. I'm, I'm willing to accept the plans. Um, could I be like the little servant girl that was taken um, to Naaman's house and being in Naaman was a very, very pres prestigious person at that time. Could I be in the presence of someone who is probably far greater than myself? Could I be like the servant girl when she said, if we were back at my master's house, and I kind of want to put that in the sense of, if we could get to the man of God, he can, he can help us to take care of your need. If we can just get you before God. Could I do that in the presence of someone that's greater than myself? The little servant girl spoke up. She was able to. And if it had not been for her pressing, Naaman may not have went and dipped in the River Jordan. That's something, you know, that I can be instrumental in. Can I press past who I think I am to reach someone who might be in a more prestigious title or, you know, someone famous? doesn't matter, but I want to be like that little servant girl that said, Let's take you to the man of God. He'll know what to do. Can I be like the widow that went to the man of God and said, my children are getting ready to be sold into slavery. I don't have anything in my house. And they're getting ready to take everything that I have. So looking at that twofold, can I go and say, God, I need salvation for my children. I can petition him for that. And the man of God can, can speak into my life and God can take care of the need. Not only did the, the children get sa saved from slavery, they also were able to fill pots and a financial need was met. 
Can I trust God to say, save my children, help my finances? Women are used and they, they just stand up. And these were ladies that stood up and stood out to me because I know that if he'll do it back then, he'll do it today. I hope this has encouraged you. And I don't know who or what lady in the Bible that you've looked at and thought, wow. But use these for examples. Apply them to yourself because for every situation that you're in, God has an answer and God will supply. Thank you. Be blessed. Have a great day.